Hey there, Hackintosh enthusiasts. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into the world of custom boot picker background, specifically for Open Core. I'll show you how to create stunning background images using the Open Canopy Generator, a powerful tool developed by Chris111. We will use OCAT for mounting our EFI partition, a wallpaper of your choice with a PNG file format and photo P to add some aesthetics on the background. Before you start, you must have the Open Core theming enabled on your configuration. You can watch this video first on how to enable it, then go back here. Search for a 4K wallpaper. I will try the UHD website. Let's look for a random cool wallpaper here. I will pick this cyberpunk wallpaper. Below the page, there are some large format wallpaper that you can download. I will download the highest quality on this case. Right click the image, then I will save this one on my desktop. Referring to Chris One and Evan's instruction, we need to create a specific wallpaper size according to the display size of your Hackintosh. You can right click the desktop, then change wallpaper. Click the display settings. From here, you can look at your screen size. I have 1920 screen size, so I will create this 3840 dimensions with 144 pixels of resolution. Go to photop.com. Let's create a new project and set the canvas size and the pixel resolution. Then click the Create button below. On the upper left, click File, then select Open in Place. Browse for the wallpaper that we downloaded a while ago. This will import the wallpaper into this canvas. If you want to crop the wallpaper, you can drag the corner handles of the picture, then click the Check button. For me, I will just leave it on its original state. Right-click on the wallpaper's thumbnail, then select Rasterize. Right-click on the below thumbnail, then select Delete. Grab the rectangle shape on the left of the window. Above the settings, put 30 pixels on the corner radius. Drag a rectangle on the left of the canvas. Notice the black rectangle with width and height. This is the pixel size of the rectangle that we are dragging. On the height, make it around 565 and the width around 2600, then release it. Hold Shift on your keyboard, then click on the wallpaper's thumbnail. Grab the Move tool on the left, above the Settings. Click the Center Horizontally and the Center Vertically button. This will make our rectangle center aligned with the wallpaper. Hide the shape layer by clicking the eye icon next to it. Right-click the wallpaper thumbnail and select Duplicate Layer. Go to Filter, then Blur, select Gaussian Blur, put 30 pixels for the radius and click OK. Right-click the shape icon, then select Pixels. Click the background copy, then press Ctrl or Command J on your keyboard. This will create a new layer called Layer 1, then hide the background copy layer. Now you have this blurry portion at the center. Double-click the Layer 1 and this Layer Style window will show. Click the drop shadow below, uncheck the Use Global Light, put 100 on the size, then click Stroke on the left. Set the size to 6, click the color black and select the white color, press OK. On the Blending Mode, select Soft Light, then click OK on the right. You should have something like this by now. This will be the area where the icons will show up, just an aesthetics on the background. If you want to add some logo, just Google search it. Right click the image, then copy. Go back to Photo P, then paste it by pressing Ctrl or Command V on your keyboard. Grab the Move tool on the left, then drag the corner down to resize it. Move the icon to whichever location you want. Once done, you can double click the icon to apply the changes. Double click the Layer 2 thumbnail, and let's add a little glow on that icon. Select the outer glow. Play around with the settings, and you can immediately see the outcome on the style that you choose. Click OK once done. Let's now export the finished product by going into File, Export as PNG. Leave the default settings, put the file name as Background with capital letter B, then press Save. Drag the wallpaper into the desktop. Go into File again, then select Save as PSD. This is the editable file, in case you want to make changes on your design. Go to the description box of this video and download the Open Canopy Generator and put it on your desktop too. Double click the Open Canopy Generator app, then drag it into the application folder. Open Open Canopy Generator app from the launch pad. If this pops up, you need to go into the settings. Under Privacy and Security, scroll all the way down and locate the Open Anyway button, then type your password. Open Canopy Generator app can now be used. Drag the wallpaper into the Open Canopy Generator app. Click Proceed when prompted. This will now generate a wallpaper that is specifically for OpenCore Boot Picker. You will be asked where to save the generated wallpaper. I will save it on my desktop for ease of access. This will make a zipped file called Resources. Double-click it to unzip the file, and let's copy the background wallpaper. 
Run OCAT and let's mount the EFI partition, as well as the config.p list. Click on the miscellaneous on the left. On the picker variant, take note of the current theme. I have Acid Anthera with Golden Gate theme. We will paste our wallpaper on that folder, open a finder window, on the side pane, click the partition, while going into EFI, OC, Resources, Images, Acid Anthera, Golden Gate. Then from here, paste the wallpaper in. We are done so far. Close everything and let's reboot. Now here's my ThinkPad T480 in action. So here we are, the changing of the background has been done successfully, the image is crisp and sharp. I just put that rectangle so that the icons are visible, as well as the small text description below it. This gives an illusion of a glass morphism effect on this background. This gives me an idea to create my own theme. I will publish that with a custom icons and background. That's about it for this video. Thanks for watching and tap the video on your screen that may interest you to watch and see you there.